Hello, this is Zach Zetterberg, Curator of Art in the Center for American Decoys at the Peoria Riverfront Museum, here for another installment of Curators Collect. My interest in museums and art have resulted in a collection of many things, but one of the most useful and practical parts of my collection include books on artists that I have found important to developing a better understanding of what art can be. One of these artists is George Tooker. It's a very interesting time to revisit the work of Tooker, considering our current situation. I hope you enjoy this brief introduction to this great American artist. I would also like to mention that this video and the Peoria Riverfront Museum are made possible by the generous support of our Visionary Society and all the members of our museum. Thank you. George Tooker was a 20th century American figurative painter who is well known for his egg tempera paintings that literally illuminate the human condition. The themes of his paintings include alienation, isolation, love, hope, ambiguity, and confusion. His use of egg tempera, a Renaissance era painting medium that uses pigment mixed with egg yolk, and his ability to create alluring compositional space gives his work a luminous and otherworldly appearance. In order to appreciate his work, let's take a closer look at his painting, The Subway. Here is one of George Tooker's most well-known paintings, The Subway, painted in 1950 and part of the permanent collection of the Whitney Museum of American Art. It was actually the first of Tooker's paintings to enter a museum collection. The painting depicts an imagined subway scene with a mysterious and rather ominous narrative. The use of multiple perspectives and harsh angles within the composition were common elements used by Tooker to create the architecture that isolates the figures within his work. For many of Tooker's paintings, the composition is a key component used to create emotion and feeling. The composition of the subway, in particular, creates a labyrinth for the figures in the painting to inhabit, but also for the viewer to move through. Most of the figures whose faces are presented as very mask-like, seem to be trapped, some behind bars, others peering out from tiled nooks, and others moving through the long central corridor. The main focal point of this painting is the largest figure in the center of the picture, a woman wearing a long blue jacket and vibrant red dress. She is about to break the picture plane and enter our world, but the worried look on her face suggests that something has just stopped her. Who is she, and where is she trying to go? Tooker himself did not enjoy life in the big city, and this would become a central theme to many of his works that pertain to the realities of mid-century urban life.